engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the Mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! This steady pig coming out to play. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig. You're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh dear, Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy to the rescue! Whee! Hold tight! Whee! Whee! <laughs> fire! Fire! Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine service. service. And now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> Tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. 
This is Binky, the butcher. Hello, Binky. Well, can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <coughs> oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah, fire, fire! Fire station, where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What, again? Emergency, emergency, tortoise up a tree. I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back! Tiddles! Come on, Tiddles! Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig. Peppa and her family are borrowing Grandpa's boat for the day. Remember, Daddy Pig, push the lever forward to go forward. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. Forward. And back to go back. And back. Simple. And please look after my boat. I've just had it painted. Oh, Grandpa Pig. What an old fuss pot you are. <laughs> <laughs> are my crew ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Oh, the boat is moving backwards. Ah! Watch out for the bridge! Oops. Oh, that was close. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a lovely time. 
I hope my boot comes back in one piece. Stop worrying. It will be fine. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Pepper and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, a TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Go! Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Quick, faster, Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. They've been gone for ages. I hope my boat's all right. Look, there they are. Hello. Hello. Ahoy, Ahoy there. there. <laughs> I'll just park the boat. <laughs> you park a car, but you moor a boat. I'll show you. Grandpa Pig is going to moor the boat. The secret of mooring is to do it carefully. Mind the bridge! What? Look, Look behind, behind you. you! Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Grandpa has broken his boat. Never mind, Grandpa. You can have lots of fun mending it. It is true that I love mending things. Can I help mend the boat, Grandpa? Oh, ho, ho. of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> 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 It is evening. Pepper and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. Oh! Oh! Mummy! Daddy! It's gone all dark! And the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh. Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. <laughs> But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK. I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh. I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, 
Are you okay? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? Okay. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly... A long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know! I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And, George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> him. <laughs> Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants a go. <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy 
Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you. There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Pepper and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> You must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Ooh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> my birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> the cycle ride. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. Today is a good day for a cycle ride. A cycle ride! Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George <laughs> love cycle rides. <laughs> Pepper has her bicycle. George has his tricycle. Mummy and Daddy have their tandem. What's that? It's our bicycle. <laughs> I sit at the front and Mummy Pig sits at the back. And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But we want to ride our own bicycles. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Peppa. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. I'm sure. OK. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Pepper. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> Cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. Mm. Oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. 
But look at the beautiful view. My goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> Pepper and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Pepper's friends are here. Hello, Pepper. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Pepper, do you want to race too? <laughs> okay, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Woo! Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Woo! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go! Go, go. go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. Whee! I win! Well done, Pepper. Yes. I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friends. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. All this cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um... Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh! Didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Hey! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, my, my daddy! My daddy! My daddy. My daddy. My we mommy. need just one! Peppa and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking. Again! Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh, thank you, mummy pig, for agreeing to jump. From an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <gasps> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. 
Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Caves. <laughs> 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 Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the caves be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um... I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. Welcome to the caves. Ooh. It's so pretty and sparkly. <sighs> Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <gasps> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mole said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? 
nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to? Uh... See you on the other side. Wow! Wait for me. Uh, 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 uh. If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh -huh. Yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Peppa loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the Helter Skelter. <laughs> OK, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? OK. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy! I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. <laughs> mummy Pig has won! Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Roll up, roll up. Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. 
If the bell rings, you win a prize! No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound! Bad luck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> ice skating. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Peppa wants to ice skate too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho-ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Woo! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <gasps> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> well 
done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's movie camera. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a parcel to Peppa's house. Parcel for you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, <coughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm, I think it's uh, a new toy. <coughs> You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Pepper. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Pepper. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 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 again, again. OK. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Peppa and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, dear. George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. <coughs> this is Mummy Pig. <coughs> this is me. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
And this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. <laughs> they are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay, hey, where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm. Interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm. Can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro! Home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Peppa. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is at the optician's. <laughs> Mr Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper. You look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. So I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> 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 Jumble sale. It is a rainy day and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. 
The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Peppa is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Peppa, have you decided? Um... You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Peppa, you can't give away Mr Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No. It's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. <laughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello, Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Mysteries. Pepper and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world-famous detective. Ooh! Please help me, Mr. Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. <coughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <coughs> 
George wants to be a detective too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <laughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! <laughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. <laughs> Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. <laughs> Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. <laughs> How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>